is right here, sitting at my feet. And he's tapping his tail or wagging it down. Good boy. He's a little bored right now, but um, I'm gonna play with him right after here or take him outside um, to go to the, uh, to go uh, work with him or um, do like a, a walk. Today I'm gonna talk about why it's important to use your cane, your white cane, even when, uh, when you have a guide dog, when you're blind or visually impaired. So, um, everybody knows about my story with the white cane um, and guide dog. And, I always enjoyed using both of these, both of these mobility aids. Um, but I want to talk about uh, just some encouragement for people. Um, um, so, like, this can be a controversial thing in the blind community, blind visually impaired community. And I think it's important to use a white cane when, even if you have low vision or some degrees of field of vision, because it it keeps you safer and it also alerts the people that you have some form of blindness or impairment of vision so that way they know how to they know how to help you like for example even though yes I wear glasses or um, you know um, people can't tell that I'm blind or whatever but um this white cane here gives it away I think it's also important to uh, um, I feel I, I hear some people tell me that like it's um like they don't want to use a white cane. Like one of my teachers I've been talking to, like they've been told me that some of the high school students in my vision program, some of them that are new to the blindness journey, um, they don't want to use their white cane because they have quite a bit of remaining vision or uh, that's low, low vision, you know? And they feel like they have enough to get around they don't need a cane. But the reason why I would argue that our o &M teachers are orientation and mobility specialists, um, talk to us about these things. Zeke, they don't want to be judged because um, they're blind or whatever. And I would argue that um, it's actually, um, we shouldn't care what other people think of us because at the end of the day, if people, if someone judges you just because of your disability or vision problems, that's their problem. It's not yours um, to, to think about. Um, you do you and you know, do what's best for your life. Um, it's, it's important to take our o and teachers' um, perspectives at heart because they're doing it for our safety and they're doing it for our overall independence. Getting a cane was how I was able to get this guy right here. I was able to get a guide dog um, from Guiding Eyes because all my skills with O&M over the years and using my white cane. That's also another thing. If you really want to get a guide dog, you have to have good skills with your cane. Some guide dog schools do differently, but mostly, mostly from what I know and what I, I experience, like they want you to have good skills with your cane and everything. Um, and you need to be legally blind or completely blind, at least on the blindness spectrum. Um, but, um, yeah, I think it's import. Um, I think it's important to just embrace the cane because it keeps you safe, as I said, and it 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 can increase your confidence and your independence overall. And I think I highly encourage you to to try it if you're new to it. Um, and if people people are gonna stare, people are curious, and don't worry about it um, because they're just curious. So that's why I wanted to make this video. Um, I feel like it's just important to basically embrace the cane like how I have. It makes life a lot easier as a disabled individual with a with the level a level of blindness. But um, yeah, anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video today. Comment, like, and subscribe, and that'll be it. See you on the next video. Bye.